Hello Taurus, this is your reading for the 15th through the 31st. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. If you haven't already, please subscribe, um, like if you like the video, and comment. Alright, so let's see, what's going on around my Taurus is Nine of Cups, feeling pretty good. Um, there's something I feel like you are content surrounding. This is a Piscean card. Um, maybe there's a Pisces involved in this situation for you. But overall, you're concerned with yourself at this point and having uh, everything that you want. Everything that you want on an emotional level. Okay? I think you're feeling a little... Um, not stubborn but you have your mind set on what it is that's going to make you happy and I feel like you're not going to accept anything less than that what's crossing my Taurus friends seven of pentacles there's something that you guys are leaving behind I feel this is your card um, there's something that you're leaving behind and I'm not sure what that is but I feel the need to invest in something. So if there's something that you feel that will make you happy, there's there's a need to actually spend the time doing that. Don't wait for it to fall in your lap. Actually take the action to make it happen is what I'm getting. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Fight for it. <laughs> Fight for it. Don't just sit there because you know what it is that you want to do. It's just a matter of doing it. You see that? I can't make this up. Five of Swords and the two of wands five of swords is fighting for what it is that you want fighting for what's best for you two of wands is basically knowing what it is that you want to do knowing what you need to do but kind of sitting on your hands a little bit okay so that is the underlying issue here you need to get up and fight for what it is that you want Fight for what you want, guys. Let's see in the recent past what was going on. Death. A lot of transformation, a lot of change. There was something that ended for you. Um, but I'm getting that there has been a period of time where you've had to really think about things. Um, and the thing is though I feel that there's something there's change that you're fighting true transformation true spiritual transformation being able to see things for the way that they really truly are um, whether it's you know in relation to somebody else or with yourself or both Okay, I feel like there is a level of um, a little selfishness, which is not bad. But if if the selfishness is blocking you from receiving what it is that that you feel like you deserve, then there's probably an area there's room to reevaluate. Let me just say that reevaluate what it is that you want and how you can acquire it what you need to do to acquire it and make the necessary adjustments you know what that is okay let's see your crowning thoughts here mm. this is your card either this is you or this is another Taurus could be a Libra could be an Aries individual I feel but your crowning thoughts is a new beginning. It's having everything that you want. Having that person 
that you want. Being in a loving situation. Growing. Starting over. That's what's in your crowning thoughts. But what does that entail? What does that entail for you? Let's see what's coming in for you. What's coming in for my Taurus friends? You have a Queen of Cups there. Somebody that is not just giving, giving, giving without receiving. I feel like whoever it is that you're thinking about, they're here. They're here. But I feel that they're coming in a little bit differently. Okay. And I'm also getting that this person is... I think both of you are being a little stubborn right now, actually. Both of you are being a little stubborn. And you, you're kind of thinking, I think more so, that kind of pointing fingers at each other. You did this. Well, they did this. You know, that kind of thing. Um, but I definitely feel that there's a lot of love still between uh, the two of you. Could definitely be a Pisces, um, Scorpio, Cancer individual that is significant for some of you. There's still a lot of love here. Okay. Let's see how you guys are viewing the situation. You're concerned about things from the past. Replaying the events that happen that set this relationship ablaze. Mm -hmm. It's like you're replaying things over and over and over again, keeping yourself bound in this mental um, prison of anxiety and doubt, you know, doubting that, you know, things will be different, things could be better this person still loves you you know that sort of thing this person definitely still loves you if you are questioning that but I see that they are wanting give and take when before they probably were giving 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 or vice versa you guys were giving 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 but either way right now both of you are um, you know, not really standoffish, but you're trying to protect yourself. You're trying to protect your feelings. And as long as both of you are in this this mode of protecting yourself, then there's not going to be any headway made, you know. So only you know what happened in your situation and, and, and what needs to be done to fix it, okay? Because I see both of you basically with your arms folded like, you know, the other one needs to make the first move kind of thing. Let's see what the influence is here. Nine of Pentacles. The confidence. I feel like um, one of you wanted to be single and felt like, you know, that was, you know, what was best for you. But I'm getting that whoever was wanting to be single declare that you know I don't want to be in a relationship anymore if those words were said that person is kind of rethinking rethinking that statement or rethinking that gesture yeah but there was a declaration whether it was an act or whether it was spoken and I feel that um, the other person, this person that made the declaration does not know how to come back from it. Wants to. Definitely wants to. Does know how to. What is the hopes or fears? Hopes or fears for Taurus. The High Priestess that you'll know what to do. Your hope is that you will know what to do. That you can do the right thing, what's best for you. That you can have an open and honest communication. That they, there will be communication. That you guys are on the same page. 
But if you're not speaking about it, if nobody's actually taking the action, then again, it's not going anywhere. I don't know if you guys need to speak up first or, you know, how it ended to begin with. Um, but um, whoever, basically, whoever left and, and decided that it's best to remain gone, I feel like that is a person that probably needs to make um, the first move or to initiate conversation here. What is the overall outcome for Taurus? Overall outcome for Taurus. We have the Four of Pentacles. Mm. I feel like you got guys are still for the remainder of the month, um, just trying to protect yourself, not really trying to open up because I feel like you're at a point of stability right now, and you're really not trying to rock the boat. So, for the remainder of the month, I see you guys still kind of being closed off, trying to protect you, what's yours, your resources, you know, your stability. Because, you know, opening this, this book up is almost like opening Pandora's box. You don't know what you're going to get. And um, right now, you're just not feeling safe enough to do that. Okay. So, that is what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you soon. Oh, did I tell you the signs? I think I did. Um, could be Taurus, Libra, Aries, I uh, feel Capricorn, Pisces, Virgo, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Aquarius energy here. Okay. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.